Should get a notification here in five minutes or so. If you want to watch me. If not, your boyfriend can. Oh, Amanda had internet error. How's your name going, Bubba? Um, I think I got went back. Let me check. Oh, welcome back. Yeah, network here. Yeah, you did, but you're back now. Yeah, we'll wait for you, Amanda. Yeah, are you leaving? What? Whichever one's smaller and will use less weed, make your weed stretch. Just because you ain't got an ounce, just because you got an ounce, doesn't mean you need to pack a bowl that takes three hours to freaking smoke. That's what I do, Bubba. When I get my ounce, I pack I I pack three big bowls. And Queen and Jimmy and me and you. And then um and then um after that it's nothing but small bowls. And it's just a small, just a different pipe. Cause you're like me, Jimmy. You got a set budget for your weed, and once it's gone for the month, it's gone. Yeah, unless you got to pawn this, pawn that, sell this, sell that. That ain't a way to live. Cheers. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. And there it goes. Get off your balls. <laughs> Bubba's, Bubba got busted smoking on the job. <laughs> Somebody's sleeping on the couch tonight, and it ain't me. Jimmy. <laughs> Jethro. Billy Bob Thornton. Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah.
Oh yeah. Well, this is about what we expected to see from Cap here today. No heads were turned by this performance, but it's hard to imagine his draft stock taking a hit either. Another day of coverage here in Indianapolis is in the books. And it's still anyone to guess how things will play out in Kansas City on draft night. Hey there, my man. Man, you putting in a lot of hours. So tell me, how'd I do? Listen, I'm glad you asked. Look, I know you've been at it all day, but we got one more game to play. Guess your rating. So tell me, Rook, who do you think your OVR is going to be in Madden 24? Well, I see you ate all your popcorn, Chad. So I'll say Ocho Cinco. Chad, please. It's a good thing Madden doesn't give out grades for self-awareness, because that would drop your OVR down a few more points. All right. So what's the grade then? And hey, what about those skill points you were talking about? Well, based on your performance today, I'm going to give you a little something that can boost your rating. I'll take it. But hey, it's only a matter of time till I hit that 99, Chad. All right. Well, handle your business then, fam. It's all on you. Oh, you're chillin'? showed out today that's right rc he did but i just want to know what channing has to say because he's been saying you and i need to cool it on cap cap put up some numbers today but there's workout warriors and there's ball players i gotta see which one he is here we go i'm not hating y'all i'm not hating he did well we've got the next 
next generation of NFL stars waiting to hear their names called. And this is shaping up to be one of the most unpredictable first rounds in recent memory. Big Day's finally here. Can't beat that draft night feeling. Hey, life is good, Natalie. I'm at the NFL draft. Pretty crazy knowing my whole life is about to change. It is crazy, but you've earned it. And to give you some perspective on this moment and mentorship throughout the season, I brought you a surprise guest who might even help you loosen that death grip you got on your phone. Oh, you noticed. <laughs> <laughs> Did I? Wow, perfect timing. Hey, Coach Prime, how you doing, man? Hey. What's up, boss? Hey. Coach Prime. Man, you know what? It's really nice to meet you. After seeing what you did in the combine, I knew I had to reach out. Fortunately, we got a mutual friend. <clears throat> so tell me, right out the gate, any advice for me? I mean, nobody better than Coach Prime to help me take it to the next level. Well, you got to relax, first and foremost. Enjoy the night, but as soon as it's over, oh, we back to work. And as a two-sport athlete and successful college coach, I think he speaks from experience. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm going to be here to celebrate you, but I'm also going to challenge you. So tell me what you're going to be working on as soon as you hit the facility. I want to be as well-rounded as possible, which means I got to work on my weaknesses until they become my strengths. Okay. I'm going to hold you to that. But you do know I keep it 100 at all times. <laughs> Deal. Well, listen, it's about that time. Draft's about to start. Only a matter of time, Cap. Yeah, we're good. I got a feeling you won't be waiting much longer. Making moves over there? Man, she called a shot. Hey, coach. You will. Yo, Ellen. I'm playing as a quarterback now. I got a halfback career going. Good luck with your game. Hope you win. Take your team to the championship. Yeah, we're going to the chip. We're going to the chip. That's what she said. I won 68 game, lost 14. Okay, man. Ninety nine overall wide receiver six two. Damn. I am. Welcome to Madden Cat. 
Freddy T, your guy Cap can add top 10 picks. I am uh, doesn't let me. Just like me. I just want to know. I'm six four, two hundred and forty three pound balance quarterback. Eighty one strength, eighty five agility, eighty five speed, eighty one stamina. And there's my core skills. I just upgraded throwing power one. I just upgraded mid throw accuracy one and throw under pressure one. Did somebody start a fire or something? Okay, can do me a favor. What's the favor? So I'm broke right now. Good to be back. And Miss Day, it's good to see you again. Likewise, Mr. Hunter. Look, we got some great times ahead of us. But let's get some business out of the way first. Go with you? Absolutely. Since we met back in March after the Combine, we've been hoping we have this opportunity to get you here full time. I felt the same way. This is where I wanted to be. Good. So, the terms of the deal are what we discussed earlier in the week. But I tell you what, why don't you take a look at the contract one last time before we sign? Okay, good luck. All right, be safe. I gotta go get some coffee. Can what? Buy me. PSN gift. When you get paid, I can't, but I owe my girlfriend a hundred and ninety eight dollars for groceries. My groceries are going to be delivered tomorrow. Or else I wish I could. All right. I think we'll I just need 10 PSN gift card. I'll have to check my finances, man. In three months, I went from three thousand dollars to twenty-five dollars. So, right now is not a good time, okay? I don't know when I'll get caught up. Dollars. Honored to be here. I'm ready to rep this city. Let's make it official. Dang, okay.
Welcome to Madden Cast. Freddie T, your guy Cap, can add top 10 picks to his resume just as you did. That's right, just like me. I just want to know what this hater Channing has to say because I don't think he believes Cap was worthy of such a high pick. Welcome to Madden Cast. Freddie T, your guy Cap, can add top 10 picks to his resume just as you did. That's right, just like me. I just want to know what this hater Channing has to say because I don't think he believes Cap was worthy of such a high pick. Look, I'm not going to criticize this kid today. Draft day, as only me and Fred know, is one of the biggest days of your life, but I need to see what Cap does against these grown men. Channing, you still got doubts? Yes! We'll get those answers in a few months, but for right now, stay tuned to Madden Cast. Yeah, put some socks on. My feet are cold. Huh? A warehouse you gotta go to? Oh, okay. I thought you had to go to a warehouse, a warehouse in your backyard or something. Okay. Kind of like where they store their product. All right, is everything okay, Amanda? Well, clearly, if they're not answering, they're not fucking home, you know? I mean, hey, Jimmy, welcome back, man. Everything okay? Is somebody missing or what, Jimmy? Well, I hope they find him. I hope he ain't doing nothing stupid, you know? Got caught with drugs or was too high and was stumbling and cops were going to arrest him for public intoxication, searched him and found drugs. Because if you're stumbling on the sidewalk, cops have a right to stop you. Public intoxication. <laughs> I 
That's why I always take the alleys. Because <laughs> I don't know about anybody else, but the second I see a cop car, I'm sober. Like, the second I see it, I'm sober. My fucking balls are itching. I don't think I washed all the soap off. I didn't wash all the soap off, Bubba. Ball, hey, that's better. That's better than hearing ah, ah, ah in the fucking mic earlier. I would have asked if that was Lisa, but I know she don't sound that damn good. Breast Brigade? What the fuck's a Breast Brigade? Ooh. Don't you talk to my Bella like that. Pickle dick. Cheers, Bubba. Bubba, I called you a pickle dick because it, it was a delicacy back in the Greek and Roman days until it got overeaten and it's not really found anymore, but it was a uh, fruit. It was called pickle dick. to watch a game in any sport and one of the best home crowds in any sport soldier field in Chicago. i love you long time all time what's the puzzle game your game you're playing oh damn working the brain along with charles davis some brandon gordon and we finally made it partner i don't know about racking it that seems dangerous i mean working it and during that time off we all cherish our vacation time. Uh oh, you're the same as me. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. And they will be led out by a guy certainly still trying to prove himself here in the league. The young rookie quarterback. We're seeing it more and more in this league. How teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps. Guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. And this is taken in by Darnell Mooney. And a nice gain of 21 yards. A good throw right there. And Charles, you know, this first preseason game is kind of a get your feet wet type of exercise. The starters will likely only go a quarter or so and then watch the remainder of the game. So what what would you be looking for if you were a coach on that sideline? Well, I think that since it's a get your feet wet type of exercise, the game plan is going to be fairly simple. And what you want to see is how your quarterback has absorbed things. Is he making the right reads? Is he in control and calm while he's out there and just going through the simple exercise you've given him so far and trying to execute well here in the early going now on first down he'll drop to throw it that's gonna be knocked away and incomplete 
And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Back to throw again. They'll roll him out right. And he'll be stopped short of the first down as they rally to tackle him at about the 28. Now we're going to get a stoppage. Appears to be an injured bear on the field. Well, injury's never good, especially here in the pre- They go play action here on first down. Touchdown! What's going on? You lost internet again. And the Bears are able to match the opening drive touchdown. Oh, okay. Is everything all right? Okay. leading this offense back out he had the touchdown pass on their previous drive and they'll search for another score as they begin here with a first and ten the play fake he'll look to throw he's gonna look deep for more and got his man complete he's on his way touchdown chicago dj moore an 80 yard touchdown and the bears are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six seeing some pretty good offense here in this first quarter it's been a wild start to And now with that lead that we're seeing, can they retaliate? I get the sense this one's going to go back. Hey. Hey, uh, Amanda. Darby Aikman pass to DJ Moore for an 80-yard touchdown pass. First and 10 on the 20-yard line. My 20-yard line. Jimmy, are you getting yelled at again? What would you forget to do? Okay, I was about to say protect the back of your head because she's coming. No wonder to give you a denozo. <laughs> hey, Amanda. My quarterback's age is 21. Height, 6 foot 4. Weight, 243 pounds. I'm a motherfucking tank. Big booty bitches. Cheers with coffee, Bubba. I didn't know if you had something to drink. Yeah, you... Yeah, so you drink all your tea already. See what happens when you chug it every 30 seconds? Now you're, now you're left with a dry whistle. What do you got to drink? 
Okay, don't chug it, but I'll go save it. Especially if that's the only bottle. Cheers, I just took a sip of coffee. It's empty. Oh, okay, it sounded that way. You shouldn't squeeze the bottle to squeeze more soda in, Bubba. Because what you do is you squeeze air in there. And if you get air in your lungs, you're fucked. Like an air bubble? Yep. It's basically a, for a way of suffocating you. You just, all you got to do, Bubba, this is how I drink soda. I tilt it back, and I just let it fill up my mouth. And once my mouth's full, I, pu I pu pull it down, and I swallow. You don't got to take big gulps. Okay. Okay, no problem. Take your time. I owe my girlfriend $198 worth of groceries she bought me. They're being delivered tomorrow morning. Well, you're about $70 cheaper than me. F you, who what, huh? Oh, jeez, okay, I thought you guys had another argument going or something. I was about so to say, what the fuck? The the no, not you, I mean you guys and somebody else. I thought one of Bo's friends was chiming in on you or something. second half the adjustment whatever they did in the locker room it hell yeah worked. it certainly did and you're exactly right what are you looking for oh all right i just didn't know what word you were looking for i i i, I thought maybe i could help you because I've been camping before. My first camping trip was 10 years old. And I've been going off and on all my life. And I'm 38 now. Jimmy! Jimmy, can you please turn off your uh, whatever you're watching? I can't hear them. Oh, I hear a TV in the background. Hold on. I'll, I'll try unmuting my mic and meeting, turning it back on. There's still an echo. I can't tell, so... Jimmy, what are you watching at your TV? Holy fuck, how high does it Lisa have the TV up? Do 
You got the radio on? Mm. Are you playing anything? Watching anything on your phone? Well, then it's got to be Lisa having the volume up to 100 on the TV. Because your mic is constantly moving. And I can hear the TV clear as day, word for word. So that's why I thought it was Lisa. I don't know why she's got it up that loud. Is she hard of hearing? Is she trying to go to bed? Oh, she's got that on to cover up your coffin. My brother used to do that to me. He used to turn his music on in his bedroom and sound out my coffin because of what when I lived at my mom's the upstairs we didn't really have good walls so he couldn't really hang that heavy of pictures so it always echoed up there so even if I did a little cough it sounded like I let out one of my yelling coughs and he comes out there sometimes shut the fuck up I'm like I'm covering my mouth in my arm. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Go outside. It's fucking 30 below zero out there. You go outside. <coughs> Who's going to ground who and send who to their room? Jimmy, you got the small bong ready, or haven't you packed it yet? Jimmy? I said, do you got the small bong packed, or not? How are you doing in the PGA Tour, Amanda? Oh, new career? Oh, okay. Hi, right, what's going on with her? No. Oh. Right. I got I got her blocked, so I can't hear her if she joins. So no, it's fine yeah. if you, if you want to join her, but it's almost time for you to go to bed, so I won't talk to you for the rest of the morning. So uh, it's two thirty-two a.m. for me. I'm going to bed at six a.m. My time. That's 3 a.m. your time. Oh, yeah, 5 your time. I got it. I got, I got to get some sleep this morning because uh, Walmart will be delivering my groceries between 8 and 9 a.m. And I got $198 worth of groceries coming, so my girl, my girlfriend paid for it. I got to pay her back eventually. She wouldn't take sex as payment. She told me she, I wasn't a prostitute. So I tried to be a male prostitute for her, but yeah. I said, nobody would pay for me. She's like, you're right. Ha! <laughs> 
Well, I mean, with my weed use and video game. She's the only one that knows me and can really handle me and no loves me for me. Doesn't try to make me somebody I'm not. Like some of my girlfriends tried to do. Right. Well, right. Hey. Hey, boo-boo. You want me to steal your picture biscuit? Not now, Yogi. The game more and I'll get mad. But, but, they weren't eating it. Run, Boo Boo! <laughs> Remember when he said that one time and then Yogi snatched the picnic basket and Boo Boo's like, near I'm gone. I don't know, but it's been said. Sherry sure does give good head. Don't ask me who Sherry is, because I don't have no fucking clue. I don't. Jimmy! If you're tired, go to bed, man. You need rest. You know? Okay. What the fuck was that, Jimmy? Were you choking on air?
you out. Okay. I just need 10 PSN gift card. Dollars. Dang okay. You sure? Okay, man, I think you should go to bed. Yeah, I'm not doing anything tomorrow. Yeah. Good night. Good night, Jimmy. She's telling you to go to bed. There's two females in the chat, you fucking moron. No, it ain't. My girlfriend ain't like that. Yeah, it's Bray Wyatt. He passed away yesterday. Well, two days ago now. He's got a tube steak you could eat. Ha <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Why? Why would he be mad? Ha! Huh. Damn, Octo Mom. Yeah, I know, but close enough.
Thank God. I was trying to put them down gently. Everybody there? Talking about Jimmy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you were. Sorry. Guess what I just equipped? I unlocked an epic celebration, touchdown uh, celebration, uh, chicken wings. Yep. I got to go tinkle. I will be right back. Right. Mm-hmm. Damn, fuck. Well, I hope he's okay. D is, he, is he possibly sleeping, depending on what time it is where he is? Okay, so what time is it there for you? P.M.? Oh, okay, it's still early. It's early evening. Okay, so he blocked so he blocked you. That's the only reason that came up because if he was out of service or didn't have signal, it would say the number you reach cannot be, or the number you dialed cannot be reached at this time. So he said, the, the recording said it, they are not accepting calls at this time. So that means he blocked you. Because you didn't answer him. So maybe that's the reason. Or maybe it was an emergency. Okay. Kick him in the balls. Don't hurt him too bad. I don't like Abigail when she's angry. She's not herself. You need a Snickers. You know the Snickers candy bar? Yeah, there's a commercial here in the States that sometimes will have like a guy has a famous... A horse? What? Oh, Jesus. Sounds like a sexual situation. Uh, why don't you just split the skin open? Maybe that'll teach him when he can't sit down for two weeks. If 
Fuck. Just re <laughs> Yeah, titty twisters are good. Grab the nipple with just the tip of your fucking fingers. And, 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 and pull out. Like, pull on the nipple and pull it outwards and twist. Tomorrow, the next day, that the tip of that nipple... You don't need to. You just gotta be. You, you you just gotta be able to judge where the nipple is on a guy. Hey Jimmy. Not much. I unlocked a new celebration for my character, so that's pretty cool. Seagulls? Did you just say seagulls? Jimmy, stop saying that, man. Especially when there's females in the party. If you're going to go bitch about females, go bitch to Lisa. She's talking to her boyfriend. I don't I don't think you're babe, Jimmy. No. I didn't hear nothing. Jesus. You sure he doesn't have a drag strip in his fucking pants now? Hey, Amanda, 26 days, 7 hours till reset. I just bought a 2 or a 4 bundle pack of Celebration Starter Bundle. Remember Gritty the 3rd? I got one of his uh, animations. And then I got something called Fireball. Shuffle and surf.
Jimmy! You're snoring, man. Come on. Why don't you go to bed, bro? If you're that tired, don't force yourself to stay up. Your body's telling you it's sleepy. Bored. Are we that boring? Oh my god, what's going on? Well, if they're just earbuds, I'm sure they're not that expensive. Uh-oh. See, that's why you put stuff on top of your dresser's kids or in your top dresser drawer. Be aware of your surroundings. Next time, next time, next time, leave the card plugged in. That way, when he bites it, he gets electrocuted. Oh, he's a fucking junkie. Adrenaline junkie is what I mean. Because uh, electric shock can give you an adrenaline rush for some people. That's why, like, when a cop tases somebody and it doesn't phase them, they just laugh at them and rip them out. That that's what happens. It's an adrenaline rush. Ten bucks. Buy them one for. Buy them one for twenty, or just give them ten bucks next month. But then he might not be able to find another pair in any of the pawn shops around here. There's no pawn shops in Minnesota. Well, no. Look at the crime they got there. Yeah. Even in my small town, we got a pawn shop. Well, next town over, I mean, but it's only a 13-mile difference. And our population is only 5,000 people. That's including the entire county. <coughs> Accidents happen. If your dad was going to kill you, I'm sure he would have said, how are my headphones doing?
How much did you drop? Uh oh. Pop, lock, and drop it. It's week two of the NFL preseason, where depth charts and playbooks will be put to the test. It's the Bears and the Colts. Football. <laughs> EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight we move on to week two of the preseason and we've got a compelling matchup here as it'll be the Chicago Bears taking on the Indianapolis Colts. Brandon God and Charles Davis, happy to be back alongside you. And I'll tell you what, yes, it's just week two of the preseason, but now they've got one game under their belts. And a lot of guys Jimmy. Really some stuff down on the field here today. Not only that, these guys... <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy. Oh, I didn't hear you. Um, I'm taking a few rips off a cigarette. I'm starting my second preseason game as quarterback and then uh, on the new Madden game, 2024, and then uh, I'll smoke a bowl with you. What'd Jack do? Yeah, he's like, if you're if you're putting me out there, you're carrying me. You don't put him outside in the kennel, right? Like, a oh, okay. I thought it was. I I thought it was a smaller kennel than what you're talking about. Okay. Because I had a friend in high school. Because I, I had a friend in high school. His mom and dad couldn't afford a big kennel. Okay, because when I was in high The reason why I was asking what size it was. Is because my friend in high school, his parents couldn't afford a big kennel. So it was okay. a small one and a pack of wolves. And a pack of wolves came and attacked a dog. Never mind. Oh, your daughter? Why? Yeah, but if David's already yelling at you, he can't be yelling at fucking 3 o'clock in the fucking morning. Because somebody is going to call... It, it, smack them all! You know what you know what you do? You know what you do? You you go to the main office and you're like, My family's not fucking listening to me. Capitalize everything rule wise so I can place fucking copies all throughout the house. So then when they so then when they're loud, you grab them and you point at the fucking rules and say, Keep your fucking mouth shut. That's what my dad did to me in uh, the um, apartment complex because I almost got us kicked out because of my video games. 
I'd wake up while he was sleeping, and I'd fuck up on a game, and I'd forget what time it is, and I'd be like, motherfucking cocksucker! Well, I, if I didn't have my system off and back in bed, I lost that motherfucker for a month. No games, no cords, no system, no power bar, no nothing. Well, I know your husband, but your husband's an adult. He should know when to keep his mouth shut. When rules are in place, he needs to follow them. It's Rosie that you need to talk to. You need to pound the rules in her head. And you need to say, if we get kicked out, where are you going to live? A cardboard box? Because you can't live with your mom. Well, then if it don't matter, let her learn the hard way. Kick her out. Send her back to her mom's. Tell, tell her mom you can't handle her because she's going to get you guys kicked out of your apartment. And then, bam, the whole family's out on the streets except the mom. Not your sister, but your, your mom mom. Stick a sack. As long as you don't cover his as long as you don't cover his nose, duct tape his mouth shut when he sleeps. Yeah, the sm like tonight it was loud cuz it sounded like he was Yeah, cuz it sounded like well, then you guys need to start complaining. Don't be the innocent motherfuckers that get complained about all the time. And don't stick up for yourselves. If you, if you have to, silently go outside your door. Close it silently. And record audio outside their apartment door. And go to um, mate or management in the morning. On a weekday, not right when they get there, let them get settled and um say this happened at such and such a time after quiet hours, and it woke us up, all four of us, including my yeah, well then we'll then go to human resources. Because if your manager ain't sticking to their own rules and is only yelling at you, that's that's uh, profiling, and that's illegal. It's not racial profiling, but it's a specific pro type of profiling. All right. <laughs> Yet it's probably mental couples that are living together and their disabilities and their disabilities are interfering with their everyday relationship. Yeah. Right. <coughs> Cheers, Jimmy. Jimmy. I don't hear him either. Jimmy. Fuck if I stepped away from his mic and didn't say a goddamn fucking word. Fucking prick.
So here now the Bears offense for their first drive of the game. And they will be led out by their rookie quarterback. come out throwing here to start the drive oh he's going to air it out right away and he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete zone coverage there and they were playing deep that makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys and that time there was not much of a window to get the ball in there and it winds up incomplete He'll try again with the arm here on second down. He's going to look deep for more. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. He'll get that complete to his tight end commit. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. the first carry for Dalvin Cook and down he goes at the 49 a three yard pickup give credit to the defense for stringing that play out and they gave up no cutback angle you know he was trying to dart through no place for him to go a nice job there only giving up a three yard gain here's a second and seven and that nearly an interception here on this opening drive but he gets a reprieve it's third down. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Back to throw. He'll buy some time right. A solid stiff arm. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts' 32-yard line. And now a stoppage. It looks like we have a Colt who was shaken up on that last play. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 32-yard line. Now back to throw. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. The veteran Kyle Van Noy in there to drop him. They'll look to throw here, eluding the pressure right. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts' 15-yard line. 23 yards on the tuck and run. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. They'll set up a throw. On the move to his left. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. They'll set up to throw. Forced out to his left. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Bears will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. Ah, oh, this is a great decision right here. Out of the pocket to his left, and he knows if he waits too long. <laughs> Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Throw left side complete. That's more. Now we're going to get a stoppage. There appears to be an injured bear on the field. Well, you hate to see this before the regular season even begins. Uh, we'll take a break and come back. More preseason action in a moment. Rolling to his right. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. It's their quarterback ready 
for the regular season with his second touchdown of the game. And the Bears are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. And this is a balancing act for a head coach with a rookie quarterback. You've got to walk a line with... He had the touchdown run on the last drive, his second of this first half. That's his guys start here with a first and ten. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And this will be caught by Mooney. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Yeah, that's a good throw right there. And our understanding is that he's probably going to play the bulk of this first half. It's only the second week of the preseason, but you can already see the connection he's got with his receivers and tight ends. And he's clearly enjoying himself so far. That throw, it picks up a first down. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So now here in the second week of the preseason, you'd expect the starters play a little bit more than they did in week one, but not a whole lot. So if you're an offensive coordinator, what are you looking for? What you're looking for is things getting cleaned up as you go along because most of your play This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown, Chicago. Cole Komet, 49 yards. And the Bears have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Boy, just zero hesitation from the rookie passer there, Parter. He is coming out firing in this opening quarter. And all the talk leading into this game was that pass rush talking about challenging this guy, getting into his grill, getting into his space. And how about him? Might be his first year in the NFL, but I don't see any fear in him at all. How about that big-time throw right out of the gate? Out is their quarterback with this offense to take over once more. He threw a touchdown pass last time they had it. And he'll look to get him in the end zone again here as they start with the first down. They'll drop to throw. Buying time to his left shoves him away and he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds he'll get five out of the scramble it's second down looking to throw sliding out of the pocket and this time he's able to take it down to the 42 Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Carter, even I can figure out who deserves the lion's share of credit for their lead right now because he has been terrific in a dual threat role. Really chewing up yardage and getting them points with his legs. Simply put, that defense has had no way of stopping him, and that's why his side is on top. Back to throw now on first down. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. Got his man, and it's caught for a Chicago touchdown. Jarnell Mooney, 42 yards. And the Bears are able to widen their advantage. Well, partner, I mean, if anybody was still questioning whether or not he had an NFL caliber arm, I think you can toss that right out the window. That was a heck of a throw right there. I would agree totally. Question it no more. This rookie, big time throw right there. Great poise, stepped up, trusted he could lay it in there perfectly and he knew that his guy was going to make the catch on the other end. Nice collaboration. Hey, Amanda. My quarterback just threw a 40-yard uh, touchdown pass to Darnell Mooney, and the defender was behind my guy, so I didn't think he was going to do it, but I tried to lob anyway. I didn't think he was going to make it. And catch it in bounds at the back of the end zone. But he had like two steps left and he secured it and dragged his feet. And the guy pushed him into the barricade where the fan stands are. You know that rubber mat for the wall? Yeah. He pushed him into there. That's how hard he hit him. Yeah. I was like, please don't be injured. It's only second game of preseason. 
But guess what I did? Before that pass play, I ran for a 27-yard rush. Their quarterback in this offense heading back out to the field. He's got everything right, so... He'll look to throw. And there's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. A good throw there. And that's what you want to see from a quarterback trying to submit his spot as a starter. Now, worth pointing out, we're expecting to see this group for the first half of this game only. So they'll get a little more run than they did last week. Yeah, this is kind of the new normal, isn't it, partner? Because we've gone from four preseason games to three. So this is more like the dress rehearsal game, although there are a few teams out there that use that third game a little bit more now because there's a bigger game on, the third game to the opener. But what you want to see, Come on. one half of crisp football, Come on. A game plan in place, and guys really running through it the proper way. Complete to Mooney on the slam. He's going to have the first down and then some. Inside the 20. Touchdown, Chicago. Jarnell Mooney with his second touchdown here in this first half. Come on. And the Bears had six to their lead. Come on. And remember, yeah. that's a rookie quarterback back there. Apparently, he's getting the hang of this NFL thing pretty quickly. And three touchdown passes. You're right. He So this one in the win column for the Chicago Bears. And it was a game where they were off and running in the first quarter, Charles, and never looked back. You know, partner, after a while, we always say the same thing, don't we? They set the tone early, right? They started fast. So I asked a few of my horse racing friends, do you have a term for me that we can use to cover that? And they said, yeah. What a horse... Is everybody still there? They're, we're tag teaming them. They're putting me in for the first half, first quarter and second quarter. And then uh, Justin Fields takes over for third and fourth, but they don't score no more points, of course. But uh, The opposite team scored once. But not when I was on game.
What? Oh, okay. Ooh. Yeah, it's better on the PS4 or PS5. It was optimized for gameplay on the PS5 Pro, but still doesn't function perfectly. So it was mainly made for the PS5. So it's a good game. Uh, it's not out yet, I don't think. Is it? You did it? Yeah, I want to get it too. Maybe that's what I'll get with your money. That you send me if you're still gonna if you still want to send me it, it's up to you. Yeah, I'm not asking for it, you know. When these exceptional quarterbacks start to drive, defenders will have a challenging time intercepting bullet passes. Yes. Twenty nine ninety nine with low tax. Robocop, you should get Robocop. Always nice to get a win. Yeah, I think it's I think it's like the first one. Remember with the first one they came out with back in the day? Yeah, it was pretty uh yeah, Young Bucks were out there hitting the day. Who's on the sticks with me? Anybody got body spray I could use? I got you, bro. Okay. Which one? Uh, Bahala? Oh, Mirage? I pre ordered the deluxe edition. Yeah, that's if you pre-order. If you, okay, okay, Queen. If you don't pre-order, you don't get that mission. Yep. Yeah, I got the deluxe edition of that.
I'm gonna get ready to smoke Oh, Macy's butt's on my pipe. Macy. How you doing, baby? The third and final week of the preseason is here. A fourth exhibition game is a thing of the past. It's the Bills and the Bears, and it's coming right up on EA Sports. Bit of a sloppy track here at Soldier Field. Still getting some of the wraparound rain bands of a low pressure system that's hovered over Chicago the last couple of days. Today it's a preseason matchup as it'll be the Buffalo Bills taking on the Chicago Bears. Brandon Gordon and Charles Cheers and now we sit CD at week from Lake Michigan season and this is the one that the coaches probably think is pretty valuable right certainly this is the dress rehearsal this okay. is the one where the starters are going to play you might even game plan so here are the Bears now for their opening drive and they will be led out by their rookie quarterback for every rookie prospect there are always nerves involved in this moment. Now a late signee let go by Minnesota in June. It's Dalvin Cook. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. Well, there you go. This offense off to a strong start this afternoon. Yeah, with a big run and a first down. That's putting what you practice into play. That's excellent execution to get things started. They'll look to throw here on first down. That's complete to Mooney. Another first down there as this one goes for 25. Good work there on that completion. You know, once we made the move, Charles, from four preseason games down to three, kind of tougher to know how to handle these games as a coaching staff. And they've decided they want at least some of their starters out there. They said probably for this entire first half. Do you agree with that? Ordinarily, Brandon, I wouldn't, but I actually do, and here's why. When we went from four to three in terms of preseason games, we left yeah. a gap between the third game and the start of the regular season. So there's a lot of time uh -huh. for rust to build up, right? And some bad habits to form. I want these guys to play as much as possible in preseason uh, and be ready to kill the season begin. So yes, which is bigger than a terabyte. Extra work here. I think. They'll look to throw. Open, yeah, gigabyte is a G though. Kilobyte. And the Bears get the upper hand as they're on the board first here. This yeah, it's a kilobyte. Well, with this rookie QB, we talk a lot about his ball placement and how good he can be at laying it right in there. I think we just saw Charles. I think it's a kilobyte. Strength of that arm. That was an absolute. It's got to be KB. Completed touchdown. It absolutely was. And let's face it. You think he was really ready to get that first touchdown? Absolutely. He threw that pass with authority, just as you described. Big time arm right there. I remember I was going to go to school for that shit. I mean, I ain't smart where I can hack gaming companies, but I wouldn't want to do that anyway. That's cyber hacking that cyber hacking you're looking at 20 30 years in prison Cut. well look at the one in the uk 17 years old that hacked into rockstar and leaked all the gta 6 from gameplay making from the ground up to almost finish he's facing 20 years in prison last i knew he was deemed not mentally stable. He he took he, he's taken the insanity plea. Yeah, so he got out of it. He was looking at thirty years. Rockstar sued him. 
and that was in the UK. And he also admitted to hacking Microsoft. That that all happened like three months ago. Their quarterback leading this offense back out. He had the touchdown pass last time they had it. And they'll start here with a first and ten. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, Chicago. John O. Mooney, 75 yards. And the Bears are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. He put quite a bit of air underneath that touchdown pass. Of course, we knew that he had the strong arm. That part was easy. You could see that throughout his college career. But what you want... Out is their quarterback with this offense to take over once more. He's thrown a couple of touchdown passes. Good night, man. See you tomorrow, love man. All right, man. You have a good night. Thanks for watching. Cole, come on. And really, it's not just the arm strength there, but the placement as well. To me, that was an excellent combination of arm talent. Okay, and you too. Now a play fake here on first down. Now he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. What? Oh, damn. Never heard of it. Who's in it? Any good characters like Dreamlight? Are they going to put out or what's it say? What do you see, Macy? <laughs> what are you looking <laughs> Oh, she sees the moth. I think that's the moth. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis with you, and now we sit CD at week three of the preseason, and this is the one that the coaches probably think okay. is pretty valuable, right? Certainly, this is the dress rehearsal. This is the one where your starters are going to play. You might even game. No, Macy, leave it alone. 
just gonna chase them off. I gotta piss. Oh my god, I thought my bladder was going to explode. May I see you leave, no! May I see you leave that thing alone? I did go pee. I got a mute button. It's just I don't, I can't mute it in time when I cough because I got the pipe in my hand and lighter. Okay, Tupac. I am mad at you. That thing must have got in through my window. I don't. I got a screen in it, but it's got holes. I'm gonna have to kill that moth before Macy eats it and gets sick. Okay. Oh, I can't get it. Oh, I almost fell flat through a table. I can't. I can't get it. I'm just going to have to pray Macy doesn't eat it if it falls. Get out of there, Macy. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. No, leave it alone. No, Macy. Jesus. I got the cold air on. Open, it'll fall to the ground. Okay. Okay. I got to plug in my headset. Are you there? Okay. Hey, what's up? What's up? Hey. Yeah, just playing my new game I bought yesterday. What?
How do my notifications tell you about a game I bought? Oh. Yeah, I know. I, it's fine. What? No. So here are the Bears now for the opening drive. Not a fan of those. And they will be led out by the youngster, the rookie, their QB. <laughs> How's life going for you? You know what you should have said? You think I'm the devil now? You should see me in bed. That would have really freaked her out. Some young bloods are better than the old guys that have been married to the same woman for 40 plus years. Pussy gets old after a while. That's why you can't fuck it every day. You gotta fuck it like once a month. That way it stays tight. Yeah. Pixar and Disney. Cool, cool. Okay. Latest drive goals. I got a score on this drive. And uh, game day missions. I got a score three plus touchdowns in the time that I'm in the game. It's preseason, so I'm only playing first and second quarter. And then coach takes me out. A date, okay. Don't fuck it up. Don't be a pervert. Don't think with your dick. Be a gentleman. There's not many gentlemen in this world, and that's what women want. Yeah. She won't be the last. The first one didn't work out, did it? So you weren't a gentleman somewhere. You fucked up somewhere. Jesus, you're a man whore. You're going to be like Doughboy with six different baby mamas. Because I get around, I get around, I get around. Yeah, I just fuck you with my friend Aiden here. He's a... He's a young man whore. He hasn't realized that you tip them all upside down, they're all pink in the middle. You're not going to find a blue Smurf one or anything, so just find one and fucking stick with it. You don't want to you, you don't want to bang every girl in town and then when all of them get sick of you, then you got nobody to fuck. Then you got to move 10 towns over to nobody that knows you. Just to get laid again. Been there, done that. Well, you're going to have to move far away where word doesn't travel who you are and how many girls you fucked in a day. So if the, you might have to move off the island. <laughs> get, get ran out of your own fucking country. Cause
That's like moving from where I am. That's like from mo moving from where I You know Queen of X lives in New Zealand too? At, with, with her boyfriend and a dog and some cows. I live on lakefront property with me and my cat in a two-bedroom apartment. Cool. I like the way the uh, M1 Grand sounds when the clip's empty, but yeah, the ting. Yeah. All right. But in the, in the car 98, and then the car 98 has more stopping power and a longer barrel. I think it has a longer barrel. It might have a longer stock. And oh. then... And then the muzzle is longer than the uh, M1 Grand, I think. It's wider, I mean. Yeah, the... Bang, like you know when that fucker's going off. You know that you know there's a German somewhere. Okay, hold on, but I gotta focus on this play real quick. It's it's the first play of the game. It's the first play of the game for me. On first down, he'll drop to throw. What's up? Oh. Really? Really? I think it'll help out his teammates out on their perimeter. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. Now a late signee let go by Minnesota in June. It's Dalvin Cook. He's to the 15. Touchdown, Chicago. Second play of the drive. I handed it off to the running back, and he ran right up the gut, down their fucking throats, and they didn't even gag. That just means that they took it like a champ. That's all that means. One, two, end zone. Just like, just like, uh, number one of the Chicago Bears quarterback, Justin Fields, and number two, darn, uh, DJ Moore. One, two, no, they're called the one-two punch. The quarterback who passes the 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 quarterback who passes the ball is number is number one, and then the receiver that he is his go-to target is number is number two. They're called the one-two punch. Don't even start with this shit, man. Chicago More Thunder. This PUBG is too kiddish. Too childish. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better. Oh. 
Well, then you'll risk denting your gun, and if you ever want to risk turning it into a real gun, the motherfucker will s sight it will be off. You can you can get it chambered and everything. It just costs you a pretty penny. Well, well, you just got to get it so good that it's one shot, one kill. Because that's all you're fucking going to get. You better aim right straight for the fucking eyeball. Because if you're aiming at a uh, long range with a fucking musket, you're going to need to hit something soft. How about we not commit crimes? Jesus. The third and final week of the preseason is here. A fourth exhibition game is a thing of the past. It's the Bills and the Bears, and it's coming up next. You'll pull a rabbit off eight of mile and shoot yourself in the fucking groin. Or the foot. Pulling it out of your fucking waistband to pull it on somebody and shoot yourself in the dick. Hey, I've seen weirder shit in video games. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis with you, and now we sit CD at week three of the preseason, and this is the one that the coaches probably think exactly. Twenty grenades, twenty Molotovs. Well, right. You... Buy a trench coat. That's big enough. You. That's big enough. You can buy a cheap one for summer, a lighter one. The light, you got to figure the lighter the fabric, the cheaper it'll be. So buy a summer one. If they can hold a shotgun, if they, if, but yet you want to turn that into a musket. Which you'll be paying more than a hundred dollars to do that. I'm not saying shoot people. You could pretend you're Dirty Harry and John Wayne and just shoot at targets in your fucking backyard. Oh my god, and then you're going to forget about it. Give it to your grandkid. Fucker ain't been cleaned in 50 years. He goes to shoot it, it blows up. Because you forgot to clean it 40 years ago. You could just hang it on your wall above your bed. Like a real American hunter. You're living in a rented cabin. I never seen a giant white one. They're all they're all made out of wood here. All cabins up here. What? A cabin is supposed to be made out of wood. Not fucking brick. Not fucking shingles. Not fucking plastic siding. Not... I'm, well, you're acting like cabins ain't supposed to be made out of wood. That's originally what cabins were made out of, so why not keep it original, right? And plus, don't you like the smell of a cabin? 
I know I do. I would trade that over city, city apartment or house smell. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Lord, please help this kid. He knows not what he does. He can't help somebody who doesn't want to help themselves. A wise man. Mooney, the motion man, right. Now a fake on the jet sweep and off the play action. He'll look to throw it. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. He'll drop to throw. That is caught. It's Dante Pettis. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. They're going to look to throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. You know, last week I remember asking you, what would an offensive coordinator be looking for week two of the preseason? Now we're in week three. Defensive coordinator-wise, what's he looking at? For the most part in preseason, you're playing pretty basic stuff. Pretty vanilla I'm focusing. Defenses. You're looking for guys that play with abandon. That just go out and make plays. You kind of let their athletic ability take over in order for you to notice them. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. But this play sequence was really kind of called in reverse. Incomplete pass on first and ten. Nice run on second and ten when probably everyone was expecting them to throw the football. Now, if you're the defense, what are they going to do on third down? You're a little off balance. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Oh, shh. 